In last week's Monday makeup lesson, I showed you how to create this classic bronze smoky eye using the Urban Decay Wild West palette. But a few of you pointed out this green shade in this palette, which I was a little scared of using, but I wanted to show you how you can add in another shade and completely change the look. Now, I will be honest, it's not a shade that I would typically go for, but by the end of it, I warm to it. I actually think it's a really beautiful shade. So I wanna show you how you can add in another shade that maybe you're scared of and make it work for you. Before we do that, if you are new to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you are already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started turning a classic bronze smoky eye into this almost duochrome look. So as always, I'm gonna take an eyeshadow primer and apply this all over the lid. This is gonna give our eyeshadow something to hold on to so that it lasts longer. And because this is slightly tinted, it's also gonna create a blank canvas for us to work on. This is gonna give us a lot more shadow payoff and make the application so much easier. So I've just applied this all over the lid right up to the brows. Now the first shadow that I'm taking is the lightest shade. I'm actually going to be using this to set the primer, which is a great step for beginners. However, if you're not a beginner, you might not necessarily have to do this. What this does is it creates a very soft, smooth base for us to apply our darker shadows over. So it's just gonna help with the blending process. Now, if you don't wanna do a wash all over the lid, you can just focus this right underneath the brows to create a brightened effect. Now sticking with that same brush, I'm going to take the next shade, which is a peachy tone. This is going to be applied below the brow bone area, so it's sort of going one step down, keeping this right in the crease of the eye, and then it kind of blurs up and down. So avoid the brow bone area, don't go up too high, and bring this right in the middle across the crease, and then slightly higher and slightly lower. Now I always start off with a very soft blending over and back motion just to apply a little bit of the shadow and then I can be more precise as I go along. Next I'm switching to a more tapered blending brush and I'm going to take the shade Whiskey which I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite shades. It doesn't have too much orange or red or yellow. It's just the most beautiful chocolate brown. Absolutely love it. And we're focusing this all over the lid. So into the crease, very slightly, and then bringing it downwards to cover the lid. Our peach shade is always gonna be a little bit higher, so bear that in mind. And then a little extra tip that I like to do, I like to layer my shadows together. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that medium shade and apply this over the top of the dark chocolate shade. What this is gonna do is it's gonna bring the whole thing together. It is gonna look very overly blended, but that's okay, because then we can go back in with the darker shadow and create more definition, but we're still gonna be left with this really soft, blurry crease. I can then go back in with a little bit more of that whiskey shade and apply this all over the lid, this time being a little heavier, but still ending up with that beautiful soft fade from the crease upwards. Now we're gonna take that Whiskey's best friend, it's sparkly metallic friend, and we're going to apply this at the lash line. Once you have enough on there, you wanna slightly bring your brush in front of you and tilt it upwards, so it's going to softly blend this upwards. But before I finish off, I always like to go back in with my blending brush again, just to make sure there's no harsh lines, and also bring a little bit of that metallic kind of around the eye, before finally going back in with a bit more of that metallic shade to finish. So that's where we left off in last week's video. Now we can add in that green shade. And I wanted to show you how you can try a new shade or a shade that you're afraid of trying, but still make it work in a very safe environment. So at the end of the day, before you take your eye makeup off, take that shade that you're afraid of or that new shade you've never applied and just apply it on your lid. You don't even have to be too precise about it. You can just sort of like whack it all over your eye and just see what it looks like because you already have the base worked around it. So we have our lashes on, we have some framework there. We can see what the shadow is gonna do without being afraid of it all going wrong. And if it does all go wrong, we can just wash it off. 
So you can apply it with your fingertips or you can apply it with a flat brush. And I just kind of patted it across my eye. And then I took my blending brush and just went in and kind of softly blended the edges and sort of blurred the two shades together. So it has this kind of bronzy green tone. Now, one mistake that always happens when you do something like this is that you do end up with some fallout on your lashes. Whether you've already applied some false ones or you've applied mascara, it can be really tricky to disguise. So one thing that I like to do is I like to grab my liner and I just basically coat the tops of my lashes just to kind of erase the shadow that has fallen down. Now bear in mind, I missed the very edge of my eye. So that's just something to watch out for if you're doing this yourself. My lashes kind of got in the way and I couldn't see. So maybe just watch for that. Sometimes it's better for me to make the mistakes and then you don't have to. And there you go. That is how I took a bronzy look and made it more of a green tone with a shadow that I was pretty scared of trying. <laughs> if there's a shadow that you are afraid of using or a color that you're just like, I can't get this to work, let me know in the comment section what it is and maybe we will create a look using those shades so that we can try and branch out away from those bronzy colors, even though I love them so much and I'm never going to stop using them. As always, I am here to help my friends. So if you do have any questions, anything that you need help with, definitely let me know. You can comment here or you can message me over on Instagram. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. You're doing the best you can and that is wonderful. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, and do let me know if you try out this look.